Despite the amount of dinosaur games available to us, there are certain things they don't have that I'm sure most of us are still craving. So I'll mention some ideas that you guys might want to see in the next dinosaur game. Starting with open world. Now I'm not talking about a big empty world that has nothing to do or is easy to get lost in. I'm talking about an open world with landmarks that are easy to recognize as well as points of interest to check out. Not only that, but also an incentive to explore and find secrets. Skyrim and Horizon Zero Dawn are good examples of that. Jumping and climbing. Have you played as a dinosaur that would be able to climb or jump and try doing so only to realize that you can't? Now I'm not saying that every dinosaur should be able to climb or jump, but dinosaurs that can should be able to in the next game. For example, if there was a game where dinos can climb and jump, the ability to do so would get increasingly difficult the bigger the dino is. Though it could make sense for larger dinos to simply walk over or crush obstacles that are in the way. A unique art style. Most of the dinosaur games you see these days share a similar art style or graphic style. The next dinosaur game should at least have an art style that differs or stands out from the rest. Cell shading, for example, is one that I haven't seen used in dinosaur games yet, so that could work. Fantasy and cartoon styles can also work since there aren't too many dinosaur games with them. RPG elements. I'll tell you as of right now, there are no dinosaur RPGs from what I've seen. At least ones that are not also survival simulators. I'm mostly referring to RPG elements where you can invest points to unlock certain skills after leveling up. I know Beasts of Bermuda has a mechanic like this, but that game game isn't completely an RPG in my eyes, so it doesn't count. I'm talking about RPG mechanics from games like Skyrim and Kingdoms of Amalur, where you can unlock things like new movesets, for example. Yes, I know that Path of Titans has a similar mechanic, but like with Beast of Bermuda, it doesn't count here since it's a survival game. Hack and slash or a complex combat system. As most of us know, a majority of dinosaur games don't have very good combat. Most of what we see are single hit attacks, with biting being the most common one seen in most, if not all, dinosaur games. This also counts for tail and stomp attacks. There are almost no dinosaur games in existence so far that have a more complex combat system, let alone a hack and slash. There is only one dinosaur game in existence that has this combat. And I'm pretty sure most of you watching never heard of this game. In fact, I didn't hear about it until recently. The game is DICE. No, not the block with the dots on it. DNA Integrated Cybernetic Enterprises. That DICE. Don't believe this is a hack and slash? Just look at the gameplay. Now I know it's not technically a dinosaur game because the dinosaurs are robots, but I'm counting it. It was released back in 2005 on the PlayStation 2. Man, how did I not know about this game as a kid? Not only does this game have hack and slash combat, but you can also pick up and throw enemies. Like, what? So I do think the next dinosaur game should absolutely either have hack and slash or a more complex combat system since DICE is literally the only game that has it. That and the game isn't that great. While these are things we want to see in the next dinosaur game, there are also things we do not want. You can find that out on this video next as I explain the reasons of why having these things is a bad idea.